rollers. Did you know that here in Iowa, in the middle of winter, is a well-known rock and roll party called the Winter Dance Party. It is held every February at the Surf Ballroom in Clear Lake, Iowa. The original surf was located across the street where the existing one stands. It opened for business on April 17, 1934. There was a roof garden, five lakeside windows, and a boardwalk leading to a nearby docks. The turf in Austin, Minnesota in 1938 and the prom in St. Paul, Minnesota in 1940 were the two sister ballrooms to the surf ballroom. Tragedy struck the surf on the early morning of April 20th, 1947, when fire destroyed the ballroom. Plans for replacement went underway quickly, and the current ballroom was rebuilt across the street from the original ballroom. The current ballroom opened on July 1st, 1948. The surf got the name and the motif from the desire to create a ballroom that resembled a beach club. The murals on the walls were hand painted to depict a beach. The furnishings were bamboo and rattan, and the stage is surrounded by palm trees, and the clouds projected overhead made it seem as if you were dancing outside. Friday nights featured old style music and dancing. The remaining nights were dedicated to modern music and dancing. During the 30s and 40s, in order for a band to make its reputation nationally, it had to play at the surf. Like Count Basie, Duke Ellington, and the Dorseys made regular stops. During the late 1950s, there was the dawning of rock and roll. Artists like the Everly Brothers, Roy Orbison, Ricky Nelson, Lil Richard, Jan and Dean Conway Twitty all took the stage there. This was one of the first ballrooms in the state of Iowa to feature rock and roll, and it made it a must-play venue on the performance circuit. On February 2, 1959, the winter dance party held at the surf featured Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, The Big Bopper, and Dion. When the show ended, the surf manager, Carol Anderson, drove Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and J.P. Big Bopper Richardson to the Mason City Municipal Airport. The weather report indicated light snow. The pilot became disoriented due to the unfamiliar way of the attitude indicator in the aircraft function. He lost control of the plane. The tip of the right wing hit the ground, tumbled across the cornfield, skidded and stopped against a wire fence. The aircraft was reported missing and the wreckage was found six miles northwest of the Mason City Airport. The bodies of Holly and Valens were near the plane and Richardson's was found on a neighbor's cornfield. The Winter Dance Party is held every year at the Surf Ballroom. In the 20th anniversary remembering the day the music died, in 1979, the Surf Ballroom began an annual commemorative event honoring that fateful day. The first memorial concert called the Tribute to Buddy Holly Concert took place on Saturday, February 3rd, 1979. Unfortunately, it wasn't as successful at first, but it didn't take long for the word to get out. The event ultimately evolved into a celebration of the music of the 50s and early 60s. By the mid 80s, the surf sponsored some warm-up activities on Thursday nights. By 1992, they all became incorporated officially into the annual tribute weekend when it became a three-day affair with Friday night sock hop and six hour plus Saturday night concert. Now the event has been expanded to include a Wednesday night concert. So all you rockers out there, be there or be square. This is Hannah Ackerman with History Alive and Rock and Roll.